Um, I listen, I love classical music for sure. I think especially concerts. Uh, I don't know, I listen to everything from Schubert um, through, I guess, Tchaikovsky a lot. I am a sucker for Tchaikovsky. Then Mozart used to be my favorite composer uh, because he was a perfectionist um, and every single note is exactly where it's supposed to be. The richest in colors from all sorts of music. Uh, but other than that, um, I guess everything except for the newest pop music. Um, I don't like disco much. I can, uh, it's basically reflecting colors back and I don't like that on me. So I've never heard of it before I actually realized I have it because I talked to my ballet teacher about it, but she mentioned it on a, like a, his, like a dance history lesson. So I've at least had it. Um, and then we talked about that after the lesson. She said I should probably do more research because I might have this sort of thing. Because I was surprised saying, like, wait, what do you mean this is abnormal? Definitely, it stays there. Um, then there is art. So, of course, I mean, since the uh, visual arts is something different. So I do paint a lot, but I've always drawn whenever I have to express something. Just uh, even do it automatically. I like draw on paper while doing something. Everything from abstract objects and tiny paintings to actual realistic things. So it's, it's everywhere, like literally in my life, it's just everywhere. Um, nothing that would ever bother me much. Sometimes I do have sensory overloads. Um, and because I have quite a, a bunch of types of synesthesia, uh, also emotions, feelings, I can see them, feel them in colors and in particular parts of my body, as well as pain. It sort of contributes to the fact that I do get the sensory overloads quite a lot. I'm currently changing my room and my dorms because of it, because I'm trying to at least, because I just can't handle many sounds and smells and, and everything. It's just too much sometimes. So it really gives me anxiety. Um, it, essentially do everything from painting and drawing through uh, dancing uh, to like theater and I guess uh, I've danced for like 16 years of my life right now 13 and then the opera in Krakow professionally um, so I, I'm actually like really engaged in that Anesthesia, first of all, helps me memorize things. Like even movement, I see movement and colors and consistency. I have immediate muscle memory. I can repeat that quite quickly. Um, I used to play in piano. Uh, I also tried guitar and percussion once, but it's just not as nice as piano. So I've played piano for eight years of my life. And again, it's mostly memorization. Um, rather than reading notes, but I still remember the things that I've learned, uh, some of the pieces, even though I haven't played for now, I think, nine years. I usually work on my own, to be honest, uh, since the way I see things is not uh, exactly the way other people see things. It doesn't really interfere in terms of collaborating with other people. Obviously, like sometimes when I have a vision, I want to work on my own, and I usually do, since in visual arts, again, it's not my professional field. In photography, it is, but depends on what the, let's say, client wants. Like, when, if it's like event photography, I, I, have, I do have my own style. In Poland, uh, I rarely talk about it. Only a few of my friends know about that in my family. Uh, I'll be seen as something like, I don't know, like I'm essentially a psychopath.